It was a dominant win against Pittsburgh that keeps the Cinderella story alive. The Cleveland Browns travel to Arrowhead to take on their toughest opponent yet, the 14-2 Kansas City Chiefs. This is the sixth year in a row where the Kansas City Chiefs are in the playoffs, which is currently the best streak in the NFL. Can the Cleveland Browns put an end to the Kansas City Chiefs this year? The Browns coming in 11-5, all the world against them. A lot of players on the COVID list, their head coach, Kevin Stefanski, who's now been activated and will be coaching this Sunday, thankfully, hasn't placed on the COVID list last week. A lot of people are going in, oh, well, the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to re rebound back. You know, they uh, weren't looking good, but this is too good of a team to lose to this Cleveland Browns team that has been throwing the whole world against them with all the injuries and everybody getting COVID-19. Wrong, 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 wrong. And a lot of that, thank you, Juju Smith-Schuster, has to do with the motivation that the Browns had coming into this game and wanting to beat them for a second straight week. The Browns now have their toughest opponent, like we mentioned, the Kansas City Chiefs, who come in after a bye week at 14-2. This team on offense, first in the NFL in the passing game, 16th dead middle in the run game. On defense, 14th in stopping the pass, 21st in stopping the run. That's very important, and I'm going to explain why in just a bit. But the Browns, they looked great, but they still had flaws in that pass defense. Big Ben last week had 500 yards passing. Now, granted, he did pass it for 68 pass attempts. Close to 69 would have been nice, but not so nice. 68 passing attempts gave up 500 yards to Big Ben. You could say that they got some turnovers here and there in the interception game as well. Yeah, but a couple of those were tip passes. So the Browns have a lot of flaws in the secondary, and hopefully Denzel Ward coming back into this game can help out a lot. So for the Browns, let's start off with them. What are their keys to victory in winning this week against a tough Kansas City Chiefs team? Run, run, run. And especially if you have a running tandem with Nick Chubb, who we all know is good. But Kareem Hunt on top of that, who is known as a very good NFL running back with his time with the Kansas City Chiefs. We all know Baker Mayfield said it himself in a post-game interview. He said that it seemed like Kareem Hunt was playing to get to Kansas City. That is his motivation. They have to feed Kareem Hunt the ball as many times as they can. Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt against that 21st ranked rush defense. That's going to be a good key to victory. And then number two, dominate the time of possession. Listen, the reason why the Browns offense, even though the numbers may say that as far as the passing game goes, they might not be the best in the NFL. They run it a lot and they dominate the time of possession with those short gains in the run game, getting first down after first down after first down, leaving the opposing offense on the sideline. That's going to be big against Patrick Mahomes and that high-powered Kansas City Chiefs offense. So dominate the time of possession, and the way that you can do it, the best way that you can do it, is run the ball, especially if you got a motivated guy like Kareem Hunt facing his former team. Yeah, that seems like a formula for success. So the Cleveland Browns can pick up this victory if they follow these two steps. For the Kansas City Chiefs, what are their keys to victory? Keep this a pass heavy game plan. Listen, this whole team is centered around the pass. We talked about the first in the NFL in passing, but 16th in rushing. Clyde edwards helaire even though he's injured this year, the whole season, their starting running back has not been doing that well. He's had some flashes here and there, had some good games, but ultimately they brought in Le'Veon Bell to take some pressure off of edwards helaire and Bell, when he gets a start, they don't seem to give him the ball that many times, maybe 11, 12 carries a game, but they mix in Daryl Williams here and there as well. Darwin Thompson had a good game in week 17. This game just isn't centered around the run game, and they don't give the, the running backs that many rushing attempts compared to other teams in the NFL. So keep this a pass-heavy game plan because, number two, you can't stop both Kelsey and and Hill. It's one or the other. Maybe you can stop Travis Kelsey, who's been almost unstoppable this year, actually more unstoppable than, than Tyreek Hill, but you can't stop both. It's either Hill or it's either Kelsey, but you have to lean in on both those guys, your main targets, your main receivers, your dominant targets to help the Chiefs get this victory and lead them into the AFC Championship. So those are your keys to victory for each team. It's going to be an exciting game, and I actually hope it's 
pretty competitive because uh, I know a lot of NFL fans, even if your team isn't in the postseason right now, I think a lot of NFL fans are rooting for the Cleveland Browns to make it to the Super Bowl and just pick up their victory given that the uh, the history of the Browns and how much lack of success that they've had. So uh, it'd be a pretty cool sight to see. Let's see what happens. Leave your comments down below. Do you guys feel like that the Browns have a chance in this game? And do you feel like that they might even pick up the, the upset victory and move on to the AFC Championship? It's pretty weird to say, but it could happen.